Over 50 million people eat fast food daily in the United States. Are you one of these people? Choosing such a high saturated fat diet can lead to obesity and serious health problems. McDonald's has helped shape fast food industries. It began with their assembly lines. McDonald's was the first fast food restaurant to incorporate the assembly lines in their way of preparing their food. This allowed McDonald's to save a lot of money by hiring employees to perform these skilled tasks. If an employee were to quit or be fired, with ease, he or she could be replaced. Next is the creation of the self-service drive throughs which allowed faster service. But the most significant way McDonald's shaped fast food industry was by their marketing plans. McDonald's began to target children in their advertisements. The average child spends 21 hours a week watching TV, so McDonald's thought it would be a good idea to advertise their products by targeting kids. They figured that if the child saw their advertisements on one of their products, such as a Happy Meal, they would beg their, child, their parent to buy them the meal, hence giving McDonald's business. But while, at, but while at McDonald's, not only would the parent buy the child a meal, but they would feed themselves as well creating double profit for McDonald's. Soon, fast food restaurants began to notice these tactics, so they began to target their ch children in advertisements as well for profit. For example, Burger King. In this slide, we wanted to represent the poor quality of food and unsafe procedures fast food restaurants go through to get the food. The food is not fresh and poorly prepared most of the time. The animals were badly treated from when they were born to the moments leading up to their death. Fast food and low-wage jobs are a part of our society. On every street corner, you can find some sort of fast food restaurant, and in those restaurants, you can find minimum wage workers. In the United States, nearly 73 million people are paid minimum wage, so you can see how important they are to society today. Because they are quick, easy, and cheap, fast food restaurants have taken over our nation with force. Low-wage workers are a big part of society but most people don't realize that they are really important or the sacrifices some of them make, whether it's at fast food restaurant or hotel cleaning. Their work matters. Here's a quote from Nickel and Dimes by Barbara Aaron Reich. The working poor, as they are approvingly termed, are in fact the major philanthropists of our society. They neglect their own children so that the children of others will be cared for. They live in substandard housing so that other homes will be shiny and perfect. They endure privation so that inflation will be low and stock prices high. To be a member of the working poor is to be an anonymous donor, a nameless benefactor, to everyone else. As Gail, one of my restaurant co-workers, put it, you give and you give. The central theme between the three books is that society has become very dependent on fast food, and it takes low-wage workers to work in the fast food restaurant. You're always told to eat this, to eat that. It's so confusing, so you think you'll just eat super healthy and you'll be okay. But that could cause, that could lead to an unhealthy obsession of only healthy foods called orexia nervosa. Fast food seems so easy enough and cheap and convenient, but it can cause metabolic syndrome, which is a medical term for a complex of health problems. Taking the easy way out is the number one choice people lean to, so when it comes to fad diets, people take advantage of them. It's easy, but it won't last. You can't lose weight faster than you gained it. You have to make a lifestyle change so the changes will be permanent. There are ways to eat fast food and stay healthy. The number one rule is always moderation. You can enjoy whatever you like in moderation. The second is choosing foods to meet your daily nutritional needs. It is currently recommended that people eat between 1,800 and 2,500 calories depending on the activity level. Within those calories, 15 to 20 percent should be protein, 25 to 30 percent should be fat, and 55 to 60% should be carbs. Keep in mind your nutritional needs when you eat fast food.